Welcome back to the fourth lesson in this series on creating an iPhone app that uses a SQLite database. Uh, the lesson today we're going to review um, some general housekeeping, I uh, couldn't think of a better word, but basically meaning some of the setup you'll do after we created the tap bar application which we did in our previous lesson. Then um, we're going to begin reviewing the solution. First we'll start with the reviewing of the class uh, file contact and then we'll review the application delegate. And then after that we will discuss um, the format of the rest of this tutorial and um, a little more about um, the GitHub application. So with that said, let's dive right into it. So as you can see, here's the application we created in Lesson 3. It's a basic template of a tab bar application. And on the other screen, I have the final solution, which you can get from GitHub. Um, you can see the, the format and the structure. I added a few folders here, classes and resources folder. I kind of like using that naming convention. It, um, resources where I keep my images and my database and classes where I keep the additional class files that did not come with the uh, template. So also here you can see the framework. We'll need to add the SQLite 3.0 uh, framework file in order to use SQLite. Back to the template. So first thing I will do is um, I will come in here and uh, create a new group. Call it classes. Then to show you what we're doing here again, just to reiterate it, and then what I'm doing and create another group called resources. Again, that's where I will, for this lesson, we'll just copy in the customer database that we created in lesson one. So framework. So let's go ahead and add the uh, SQLite framework that I showed you earlier here, the SQLite 3.0 framework. That's a must. You have to have that for enable to use SQLite with your application. A um, little bit more about um, SQLite uh, in this lesson. We're going to talk about um, uh, the class method contact that we're going to create and also the trans class file. Um, and how we tie that back to the app delegate and the relationship between the app delegate, the object class files, and then later on in future lessons, the view controllers. So now we've got the framework. I like to keep things neat, so I'll put it in the framework folder. It's important that uh, one of the most important things you can do in developing in any language is lots of comments and try to keep a tight, clean application. Next thing I want to talk about is the uh, customer dash prefix file. Here we're going to go ahead and add the app delegate header so that um, it will be available to all the class files within this application. And again, here we're going to go and um, one of the things I found out with the latest iOS is that um, when you click on the home button, uh, the application, uh, the, the um, iOS does not signal to the application that it has terminated. So in order for your application to terminate cleanly, you add this um, additional requirement that the application does not run in background. That way uh, you can, um, it'll clean up your database um, updates, inserts and deletes um, at the end, which we'll get to at some of the final lessons. So, and you can see here where the application will terminate. This will get called now since we added that to the application, that um, requirement. So we got the app delegate method here and this is all part of just setting up the application so when we begin developing it'll it'll work nicely next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the customer database that we created in lesson one we want to copy it and there we have it so now we've got the framework for SQLite we've got the database 
We've got the header file. All right, now we've completed the housekeeping. Now we're going to review the solution. And so here we're going to um, review the class file contact and also the app delegation, application delegate in a little um, more detail. And uh, so um, with that said, okay, now we're done with the template. Um, I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me type, so I'm going to start working from the solution from this point forward and explain each of the class files and view controllers. And the solution again can be found by going to kcollins 1963github.com and uh, again the instructions on how to download that is in lesson two so let's talk a little bit about the contact.h header file which is your um, class file for um, the object contact table in your database um, there's two files that I'd like you to pay particularly close attention to SQLite does not enforce data type constraints it's good practice to enforce data type constraints within the application level the two boolean variables that keep track of the state of the object are is the boolean is dirty that tells us that the object was changed in memory or not and is detail view hydrated that tells us that the data which shows up on the detail view is fetched from the database or not it is good practice to fetch only the data required to show on the screen which makes the application load faster so in our case here we're going to just grab a few of the columns that um, were defined in the table which are the uh, contact name contact ID date of birth height and gender now I'd like to uh, jump right over to the app delegate and talk a little bit about copying the database the first thing we need to do when the application loads is to check whether the user's phone has a database or not. If not, then we copy it to the user's phone. We will create two methods which will help us in copying the database to the user's phone. This is how the uh, app delegate header file will look. Then you go into the uh, actual file itself and you know, you'll have to add the contact array and then that's the array that's used to hold the contact objects is declared in the application delegate file and not anywhere else because the object lives in memory as long as the application is running and also gets notification when the application is being terminated the method copy database if needed is used to copy the database on the user's phone when the application is finished launching another method with the copy database if needed is the get db path which gets the database location on the user's phone this is how the get database method looks and in the copy database if needed method we get the ns file manager object with which we can perform some of the basic file management tasks the method get db path gives us the database location on the user's phone method ns search path for direction directories and domains is used to find the documents in the user's documents directory expanding the tilde so that we get the whole path. Using the file manager object, we check if the database exists or not. If it doesn't exist, we then copy the user's phone from the, the application bundle. Method copy database if needed is called from the application did finish launching. Once the database is copied to the user's phone, we need to display a list of the contacts from the database on the UI table view. In the next section, we're going to talk about, in the next lesson five, we're going to talk about getting data from the database. And the approach I use is to um, have all my database operations in the contact class. I know this was a lot to cover in a brief period, so please go back to the solution, review the contact class file in the app delegate, and, you know, as I'm talking, review the, um, the look code, even dig deeper into the code if you can. And um, I look forward to talking to you again next lesson, and we'll go over what we talked about here and dig deeper into the class file and how we pull the data into the application. Thank you.